Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. As you know, we dive deep into these readings to see what the divine wants you to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working with our tarot cards to see what these messages are all about. I always remind you that it is important to remember to use your own wisdom and your own discernment as you're listening to these readings because they are generalized. And so do take what is resonating with you, leave behind anything that is not resonating with you. At the bottom of the deck of what you're currently needing to know at this present moment in time, the divine is giving you the energies of the high priestess. So the divine is saying to you, please, you need to know at this moment in time that there are some important messages from the other side that are trying to get through to you. So please do pay attention to your dreams, maybe keeping a dream journal by your side so that the first thing that you do in the morning is to write anything that you remember. If you're truly wanting to remember your dreams, set the intention before you go to sleep at night, before you fall asleep, that I want to remember my dreams. Speak directly to your subconscious mind to remember whatever it is that you're seeing in the dreamscape because the divine is saying that your guides, your ancestors, they've been trying to get a message to you. And so you need to know this at this present moment in time. Okay. The energies of the high priestess is connected to the divine realms. Okay. It's connected to the other side. So what we're going to do is we are going to be getting our next set of tarot cards to see how they are wanting to elaborate on the messages that are on the table. Okay. So as I'm getting these cards, I always tell you um, of the services that I'm currently offering at the moment. So we have our full moon that is going to be happening on the 3rd of July. And we have a super moon that is going to be taking place. When we're working with the energies of the super moon, these energies are amplified. These energies are more powerful. So we are going to be working with these energies for our full moon magic prayer ceremony. And if you're wanting to be part of that manifestation service, please do go forward and go to the description box below this video. Go to my website, reserve your space. Remember to write your petition so that me, my guides, my ancestors know what it is that we're praying for. And then I'll be doing the magic that I need to do. I want to tell you that I also do candle magic ceremonies connected to banishing ceremonies releasing ceremonies, cutting cords, return to sender, love rituals. There's a lot that I do apart from reading tarot cards. So again, if you're curious, go to my website and have a look to see what is there for you. So at the bottom of the deck, what you're currently not seeing at the moment, the divine is giving you the energies of the hanged man. Wow, this is really interesting because remember what you needed to know right now was the energies of the high priestess. Now you are receiving the energies of the hanged man. Let's bring these two cards together so you can clearly understand what the divine is wanting to tell you. The hanged man, the divine is saying that for some of you, you are currently at a crossroad. Do not rush to make any decisions but rather allow yourself that time to be at the crossroad because there is going to be important information that is going to be coming in from the divine that is going to be helping you, assist you, make a decision. Now, isn't this interesting? Because the card that started off with what you needed to know at this present moment in time, what did I tell you? I told you that the other side is wanting to give you a message to listen to your dreams, to tune in, because you're going to be seeing that important messages are going to be coming in. And now, what you need to know right now, the divine is saying this is a powerful message because literally some of you feel to me, right? What I'm seeing is like people stumbling in the dark with their eyes closed. You're not seeing where you're going. You're looking for the door. You're looking for a window. You're looking for a way out. But because the room is so dark, where you are is so dark, you're just stumbling around and you're trying to feel your way out of a situation. The divine says, for some of you, this is what life is feeling like right now. So it is time for you to stop and to understand that the divine information that is going to be coming in is going to like literally give you the light that you need. And the light that you need is going to be the go ahead. You are going to know what exactly you need to do, how you need to do it, who you need to go and talk to, what 
is expected of you. So the divine is saying, stop stumbling around in the dark. Take your time, take a seat, just lie down, relax, allow yourself to be where you are at this present moment in time. Even if you're feeling frustrated, even if you're feeling stuck, the divine is saying that you are going to make major progress if you wait for the message from the other side to come in. Rather than you trying to figure it out in the dark and just walking around, breaking things, bumping into things, causing a lot of chaos, mayhem for yourself, the divine is saying it is important for you to just stay still, stay stuck, be at that crossroad, and you will know exactly when this message finally gets to you. Because the divine is saying, for some of you, you feel like you need this information now and you are causing yourself a lot of anxiety so the divine is saying, just relax, okay? Just be where you are. It is interesting to me that you have received two energies of the Six of Swords right behind each other. And we're talking about fumbling in the dark. We're talking about feeling anxiety, feeling frustrated because you're feeling stuck at this present moment in time. Interestingly enough, when we're looking at the energies of the Six of Swords, they are indicating that for some of you, you're currently going through a turbulent situation. For some of you, you could be in a toxic situation. You're dealing with toxic people, snakes, backstabbers, and all of that. But the divine is saying, don't run away from this situation now. Because if you do, you're going to end up in a worse off situation. Wait. Be at that crossroad. Be in limbo. Be stuck for a moment in time. Because the divine is going to know exactly when it is the perfect time for you to move. When things are calm on the other side so that you can make a transition a lot smoother. If you go now, like I said, you're going to be bumping in the dark. You're just going to be all over the place. Because this turbulent situation has a lot of momentum. It has a lot of energy. So the divine is saying, just be. Sit, be quiet. Connect with your dreams, connect with your ancestors, ask for the help that you need. Because the power of the energies of the Six of Swords tells you that you are going to have assistance, you are going to have help when it is time for you to make the transition, when it is time for you to cross over to the other side where it's more peaceful, where things are more calm. So there definitely is a situation... <coughs> That could be causing you a lot of fear at the moment, a lot of grief at the moment, because you're receiving the major kind of card of the moon card. The moon card is connected to our fears, our anxieties. But at the same time, the divine is saying, listen and listen well. Remember, you receive the energies of the high priestess and the divine told you that in your dreams, there's going to be important information that is going to be given to you. Now we have the energies of the moon on all three of these cards. Okay, the moon illuminates. The moon shines the way. The moon reveals something to you. But at the same time, if you are not in the right frame of mind, the moon can make things look even more scarier than they are. It can start casting illusions. It can make us feel confused. So the divine is saying to you, it is important to sit down and to see the woods from the trees. It is important to sit down and to tune in to the divine, powerful energies of the moon. Because when you're working with the moon at its highest polarity, this is connected to your intuition. And your intuition is going to be telling you where you need to go, what you need to do, and how you can avoid some pitfalls. So sometimes the divine is saying that even though it can just be feeling like you just need to get out of a toxic situation, of a crazy situation. But if you run away when the time is not right, this is when things don't work out in your favor. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you are feeling that like you need to go in a new direction, but you just feel like there's this hold on you. You just feel like you cannot make this transition that is here. Again, the divine is saying at the right time, you are just going to have the divine power that is going to assist you, that is going to show you the way because your blessings are here waiting for you. All right. Don't cry over any spelt milk. Don't cry over this situation. Don't cry over these toxic people that you're currently dealing with at the moment. 
because your situation is going to be changing very, very soon. Maybe for some of you, um, I'm hearing that on that 3rd of July, or when we are working with those powerful energies of the supermoon, you could actually start seeing momentum. You could actually see things starting to change for you. So at this present moment in time, sit down, receive the divine information that needs to come in. And then you could be seeing that when the energy is connected to the moon are full. This is when things start to shift. This is when things start to change. This is when you could be getting clarity from the dreamscape about what you need to do next because the moon is, of course, connected to the other side. Okay, so the divine is saying, listen, okay, it seems like maybe this reading is like, oh no, there's so many bad things that are happening. But the divine is saying, I want to inspire you, okay, by giving you a shortcut to a situation where you're feeling disappointed, where you're feeling stuck. But at the same time, it is not time for you to make that move. It is like feeling like you are at a, um, at a traffic light. The traffic light just turned orange and you are in, the, in a rush. And you're like, no, 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 don't speed because you could end up in an accident. Just wait. It's a red light. It's annoying that the light is just turned red, but just wait it out. So you're waiting for that stop sign. You're waiting for that red light to turn green. And then when it turns green, you will know that it is time for you to go. So the divine is saying that there's just literally going to be a light. Some of you are literally going to see some type of light that is going to be giving you the thumbs up that, hey, it's time to go. Ember, get ready to start going. Get ready to start progressing in your new direction. So you have the energies of the chariot. A major arcana card. Love these energies that are here for you now. So the chariot, you are here, you're excited, you are ready to take action, you are taking action, and the divine is saying that now, because you waited, Lady Luck is now walking with you, because the number seven is connected to luck, the chariot is all about taking that divine action, and as you're taking action, you are knowing what you need to do, how you need to do it, and you're able to receive victory fast, swift, quickly. Whereas if you're acting on your own accord, you could just be ending up in some situation that is a lot worse off. So the divine is saying, this is what I'm saying to you. Stay stuck in your situation. Important information is coming in. And then once you receive that important information, you are going to know what to do. So much so that it's literally going to feel like you're working with some type of magic, okay? It's literally going to feel like you have this invisible power that is walking with you, that is telling you what to do and when to do it. You're just going to have that cheat code. So the divine is saying, Lady Luck is the chariot, is going to be walking with you as you're processing this situation that is here. And you are going to start understanding more divine information that is going to be coming in. And this divine information is going to be reminding you that you are the magician of your life. You are the architect of your life. So now the question is, as you are receiving the victory, the success, as you are here, now understanding how you receive divine information. Now you're understanding that you're stepping into the next chapter of your life where you are the magician. Now you have the magic wand in your hand. So the divine is saying, get scripting. Write down exactly what it is that you want, how you want life to be unfolding once you get to the other side, once you're in a peaceful state. Because as the magician, you're not only going to have the power, you're going to have the know-how. And not only that, you're also going to be having your guides walking with you. So now you're able to create the life that you want. So you are definitely going to be stepping into a next chapter where you feel that you are powerful, where you know how to work with divine information, where you understand how to tap in to the divine energies and the downloads from your dreams and how you can now navigate any challenging situations to your advantage. So the divine is almost like saying there's almost like a learning curve at the moment. All right. You might be full of anxiety, but this is not going to be for long. Because you are now going to be holding your guides, your ancestors hand, and they are going to be giving you some cheat codes to process this situation and to cut the cords to anything that is keeping you tied. And now as you're walking, as you're going in a new direction, you're able to understand that you can create the life that you want. Okay. And not only that, 
you're going to be inspiring other people to also create the life that they want and also navigate difficult terrains, to navigate different difficult chapters in lives and to understand that challenges don't last forever. As a warrior, you're knowing how to go through that battle, go through that war and come back home being celebrated like the victory, victorious warrior that you are. So beloved, this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you. If you found value in this reading, comment lucky number seven in the comment section below. And then remember that if you're wanting to work with me for the full moon, uh, super moon ceremony that is on the 3rd of July, again, everything that you need to know is in the description box below. If you need to do your cord cutting ceremonies, your banishing ceremonies, your cleansing ceremonies, there is a lot that I do. Okay, I absolutely love my job. I really, really do. So I look forward to working with you and it is a goodbye from me. Bye.